Hello everyone! Welcome to an unboxing video of an Aurora. Um, I've actually never reviewed this particular model. I have done a nib comparison video of the Aurora nibs using this model of pen, but I never really talked about the pen. So let's actually do like a video on the pen. So we'll unbox it, we'll do first impressions, and I'll tell you why it totally freaks me out. <laughs> That's not true, it doesn't totally freak me out. It's just got some features I'm not wild about. Um, this pen was sent to me on loan by Apple Bohm. So thank you so much, Apple Bohm. Uh, this is, as I said, it's an Aurora. This is the box. Comes with a sleeve. There's another box inside. Comes with a lid. Take the lid off. There's another box inside. Take the box out. Comes with leathery bits and it's just black and then you open it up and then the pen sits on there. And underneath that you get your little bits. These are king size cartridges and you get your Aurora booklet which tells you about your Aurora. Aurora was born in 1919. It tells you, mm, smells like paper, I like it. Um, the myth. Wow, that's kind of cute. When a pen surpasses the role of simple writing tool to become an object of veneration, then it is no longer enough to speak of precision, fluid writing, and artisan attention to detail. When a pen becomes an Aurora, then we have to talk about a status symbol, an object which describes the personality of whoever uses or makes a gift of. Wait, sorry, makes a gift of it. Aurora, the legendary tradition in writing. That's pretty. Um, tells you about the pen, like how to use it, instructions for best used filling. Uh, it talks about Aurora's hidden reservoir. Okay. The fo a fountain pen like the Aurora will never leave you dry. When the ink stops flowing and you can see from the transparent section that the ink is running out, use the special hidden reservoir device. Now, this is a cartridge converter, so I'm not going to bother telling you about that. That's for the pistons. But I just wanted to, like, tell you a bit about it, I guess. The... Yeah, so, I mean, if you want to go through this, you always can. I, they don't particularly thrill me, but I do like to glance at them to see some information about the pen. I'm glancing at it now, so I have some information to share with you. So let's put the box away, because you want to know what the pen is. And the pen is this pen. Ooh, it's actually quite pretty. This is the Aurora Alpha Sky Blue Fountain Pen. So the model is the Alpha, the color is sky blue. It's also available in red. Uh, I don't remember what the red is called. but. Let's talk about the pen for a second. I got my notes. Price is with the regular nib without like one of the special nibs like the um, italic or uh, the stub or whatever. Um, 347 US dollars. So they're not inexpensive, but they're not the worst price I've ever seen. The nib is 14 karat gold, in this case, rhodium plated. Filling system is cartridge converter. It has a resin body, a metal section, and the nib options are fantastic, okay? So here's what you can get. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad, stub, italic, oblique medium, and oblique broad. I don't love every single Aurora that comes out. I love a lot of the colors. I love a lot of the, um, like I like the Optima a lot because of the colors and the 88s have really pretty colors. But I really like that there's so many nib options available. So for people who don't just want like a fine or medium, you want something more unique or something a little different, I really like that you can get this. Now, what they say about the Alpha. Every new journey brings with it unique emotions. Through the particular workmanship of its grip in a diamond pyramid, Aurora Alpha leads to new sensations, both tactile and visual. So I'm just going to show you the grip. You can see it reflecting. I'm sorry. Uh, it's really blinding because it's metal. Um, an elegant decoration inspired by the facade that characterizes Palazzo di Diamanti in Ferrara, a jewel of Renaissance architecture. A precious throwback to Italian history and art that enhances the pen with new journeys of light. That's the inspiration for the section. Whatever. It's all right. You can see that. So I think the best thing to do will obviously be to look at the pen in detail because you can't really see much from here. But, you know, it's not an ugly pen. I actually think it's quite pretty. It's very simple. And I don't have any aversions to it. The only thing that freaks me out is the section a bit. And when you see it in a little more detail, I can explain to you why. It's not my favorite section. But to be honest, for like $3.50 US, um, I know it's a plastic pen. Whatever. They're all plastic. Um, other pens are plastic too. We still like them. The gold nib, the nib options, I'm pretty happy with it. I think the packaging's a little ridiculous. Like it's a little, 
I mean, this is, this is huge for just this, right? And I hate packaging, so I don't have space to keep it and I don't want to keep it. So I actually prefer simple packaging. If you've been here before, you know this about me. And so, yeah, let's go look at this pen in a bit more intimate detail on the desk and we'll see it writing and we will talk about its parts a bit and I will show you stuff about it. So I will see you in a second. Okay, bye. Hey everybody! Welcome to the writing portion of the Aurora Alpha in sky blue. Uh, this resin is very pretty. Um, it's kind of translucent, like you can see the converter through there. But it's, um, it's, I don't know, like it's a pretty simple pen design. It's got the Aurora logo up top in a large metal emblem, um, the Aurora clip. Clip is quite snug, but it, well, it's liftable. It, it works. Uh, it's got the round ball, so it'll hold on tight. It's got the wide center band that's engraved with Aurora Italy. In terms of hand comfort, it fits really well. It can be posted. It's a little long. I find it uncomfortable like that. Now, the pen looks good. It's a pretty pen. I really, like, there's a lot of stuff that is nice about it. I like the shape. I like the color. I like the simplicity. Like, I just like that it's, like, fairly minimal trim. But what I hate is the section. And here's why. It looks kind of freaky, but that's okay. Um, it's very slippery. Like, it feels... I don't know. It gives me a weird feeling in my throat. It feels like it's just, like, sliding out of my hand. And it literally is sliding out of my hand. So even though the pen itself is quite light, the section makes it not really comfortable. And it's heavy. The section is the heaviest part of this barrel. So it feels unbalanced. And I mean, like, the balance is... I, I can't even balance it. It's just... I can't. It's just, like, it's not feasible. So that kind of kind of kills it for me there. But, um, you know, maybe it'll appeal to you. Like, I again, I like the look of it. It's cute. So let's see how we, um, like, write. It is a medium nib. I know this because on the bottom of the feed, there's an M, which you can see. It is an ebonite feed. So there's, like, Aurora's got that doing some good stuff. Like, they're doing the ebonite feeds. I really like that. But we're going to do writing. Yes, that is from a previous writing sample. I'm saving paper because it's expensive when you're using Tomo. Okay, so here we have the Aurora Alpha. Um, this is a 14 karat gold wet medium nib, as it turns out. Because you can see the wetness. At least I can. From my point of view. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, the ink... Wait, let's do the wetness. That is gushing, okay? The ink is... Di oh, that's beautiful. Was that... I don't, I don't know where that came from. Hang on. Fabulous. Let me make sure that converter is in there tight. Yes, it is. It is tight in there, so I don't know where that ink came from. That's fun. Um, okay, we're just going to keep going. Diamond. Oh, de... Yeah. See if that happens again. The nib is firm. Aurora nibs are hard. They do not have give. They are, I mean, you can squeeze out some more wetness, but it's a hard nib. Uh, this one is really well tuned, very well adjusted in that there's no skipping. There's no hard starts. It's very wet. It's working well. Hello, Jello. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of wetness, so I'm starting to think it's going to blob ink on me again. Let's just keep going, because we will find out, because that is the fun of it. Keep on trucking. That's interesting. I've never had this happen with an Aurora before. Go figure. If it happens again, I'm going to just make sure that the nib is nice and tight. I don't want to do it now, because I don't want to... If it's not... I mean, if the nib is tight, then I don't want to suck all the ink out of the feed. Okay. Actually, it seems to be going okay. The ink flow seems to be... Um, moderating itself. Hello, meow, fun times. Uh, you know what? We're good to go. It's, um, it's cleared. So it's probably just for me when I was doing the talk portion, I was kind of throwing the pen around. This is just the way it is. I'm not going to edit this. I'm not going to redo it because this, this happens. So 
Um, there you go. Fun times. Okay, what else can we write? What did I, what did I do? Oh, yeah. Um, it's a hard nib. Um, it's got a bit of feedback, the Aurora feedback. I actually like it. I must say, this is a pretty decent medium nib. I'm, I'm not totally broken up about it. It's like, like it's making me happy. Aurora. Aurora. Fun for cute printing. Um, great for daily use. It's a nice size, I think. Hello. Jello. Yeah, there you go. Pretty decent, right? Um, so let's wrap it up because that's probably sufficient writing to make you happy. Thank you to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. I can't write. I can't spell. Um, for you can, uh, for, sorry, because the code applies to Aurora products, you can use the code. Oh my God. I can't spell. Um, you can use the code FRIEND at Applebaum for 10% off your purchase, excluding Mont Blanc. I don't get a commission, just sharing a deal with you. Um, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. It would make me happy, and I would know. And otherwise, you could find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens, and also as Toronto Pen Company for all your Libby needs and other modifications for, like, parallels and fun things. So, thanks, guys. Thanks. I don't know why I'm writing thanks again. It's just that I like the nib and I want to keep writing. Thank you for watching. I'm going to stop making weird noises now. Stop doing weird voices. Because they're freaking me out. I'm freaking myself out. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think of it? Let me know. Let me know below. Down below in the comments. And we'll see you for the next video. Next time. Whatever goes up next. Okay, bye.